hello it's been so long it's been like i think almost three weeks since i last picked up the camera but i'm so happy to be back it is currently 8 30 p.m at night i can't believe i'm picking up the camera at 8 30 p.m but we are having a girls night i'm so excited so we're just gonna have a chill girls night i had to drop austin off at a pregame, which sounds so funny he's actually going to Buffalo Chip, which is a Western bar up in Cape Creek in Arizona. I went a few weekends ago, actually like a few days after my birthday for one of my best friend's birthday. So it was kind of like a joint birthday party, but it was mostly for her. And we went up to Buffalo Chip as well. And it's so fun. I wrote a bowl. <laughs> Like it was the best night. And honestly, I stayed on the bowl for a pretty long time. Brooke stayed on it for even longer, but it was it was so much fun. So anyways, Austin's going back up there again tonight for another birthday party. And he knew I didn't wanna go. I was just like, I'm so tired. It's been a f busy few weeks. So I'm just gonna hang out at home. Um, the pregame started at 7.30 and they leave on a bus to go up there at 10.30. They, he probably won't be home until like one. So we have a full night to ourselves. And for some reason, I'm like in a mood to stay up late and just kind of like do some fun things. Um, right when I had to drop him off, I went to go grab some Target pickup order. And so I have a few things that I'll show you from Target. It's like a really random, just like a few odds and ends pickup order. And the reason why I had to go to Target really bad and I could not do it tomorrow was I need chocolate chips because we're going to make some cookies. We're going to make some gluten-free cookies. I don't have a recipe. We're going to see what's in the pantry. I just knew I needed some chocolate chips because who makes cookies without chocolate chips? Not me. And yeah, I also oiled my hair today. So it's extra greasy but she is getting oiled so that when I wash her, it's gonna be all nice and luxurious and soft. And yeah, I just love to do a little oil um, in my hair before I wash my hair. And it's been sitting in here since like three. So I'm excited to wash my hair tonight as well. And we're gonna do a full face everything. You're gonna see my new skincare routine. And yeah, I do wanna show you a few things though. So today we went to the opening of Lifestyle Co. And so I got some goodies and I'm so excited to share them. I could have gone ham at this store, but you have to see these goodies that I got. I got three pillows and you have to see them. They're so cute. Okay. Hadley, do you want to say hello to the camera? Hadley's happy to have a girl's night too. Aren't you? Are you happy to have a girl's night? She needs a haircut so bad. She's like, no, I don't. Okay. So this is what I got. Okay, are you ready for this? We got two new pillows, or we got three, but I'll show you the other one in a second. And they're the cutest things in the entire world. Also, I got that tree a few weeks ago. It's a, I think it's from Pottery Barn. It's like their eight foot olive tree. Super cute, something to pot, don't judge. But anyways, these pillows are new. So we got these from Lifestyle Co. They are so cute. This one's like a dark brown, like mocha color. And this is like a dark grayish checkered pillow. I am so into the checker vibes right now. This is my dream pillow. Okay, this is a mess over here. I can't show you it. Hold on. This all needs to move. And this needs to be fluffed up. I also got this white pillow, which is adorable. But this needs to go. This is like an old pillow that Lexi left here. It needs to go. But I got this cute, white, simple pillow, which I think is absolutely stunning. Look at that. So I'm thinking I need like a good like lumber pillow, like a small one here. I will probably keep this, um, but we'll see. I also wish that this white could go over here because it'd be so beautiful. So we'll see. We're gonna see what's gonna happen, but that's that. We're gonna do a little Target haul of like the most random shit I've ever gotten at Target on a Saturday night, but I'm laughing at myself. This is like the best thrift I've ever had in my entire life. It's a Buffalo Bills sweater and I thrifted it in college and I'm not a Buffalo Bills fan, I'm a Vikings fan. But it's my favorite sweatshirt ever. So like whenever football's on, I'm like wearing my, my Buffalo Bills sweatshirt. And everyone's like, are you Buffalo Bills fan? Are you from New York? No, I'm not. I'm from the Midwest. Can't relate, but I love the sweater. Anyways, Target. Got Austin some pizza rolls. And then if you don't know, now you know. This is the best cold brew on the market. Hands down, best cold brew that you can buy at a store is right here. It's Stoke, I think it is, cold brew. It is so good. I love the bold, the extra bold actually. 
It's a purple bottle, so good. No sweetener, you just add a little bit of oat milk to it. Honestly, I could drink it without oat milk. It is so good, best ever. And the main reason why I went to Target was for my mini chocolate chips for the cookies that we don't have recipe for yet. I had to get some more gum. I've been a gummy chewer again, even though it hurts my tummy, but I still chew gum. And then we got Austin some just glorious stuff that he needs, like some Lubriderm lotion and some razors. So that's what we got at Target. I know it was riveting. It was a crazy haul. And then I got a Viore package in and it's so cute. I'm gonna try it on today because I have to, to make sure I love it, but it's kind of like a purpley color. So I got this bra, it's the cutest thing ever. I did try it on store and I think it fit well. We're gonna try it on tonight. And then the cutest pants in the entire world. Look at them. They have like a stripe down the side and they have like, they're leggings, first of all. And they have like a cute little edge at the bottom and they're a tie. We don't own any ties. So we're gonna give these a try. So yeah, I also went and got, um, a pair of navy blue leggings today, which I just wanted because I have all black leggings, I feel like, and navy. I have so much white to wear with navy, and it's gonna look so cute. So I got some navy leggings today. Okay, anyways, I think what I need to do next is wash out this hair and do my face. Or should I make cookies? I should wash my hair because it needs to dry before I go to bed. I can't go to bed with it wet and I hate blow drying my hair. So that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna wa go wash our hair, we're gonna do the face and get all cozy, and then we're gonna make some cookies. This is not fair because the lighting is like shit in here, but these are the Lulu lemon leggings that I got. They are the Wonder Train. I got them in the 28 inch seam, I think it is. Yeah, um, but they are in a navy color. I think they're so cute and I can wear them with like white socks. Which I think is adorable. You can not even see that they're navy. They look black. And I can also wear them with like a white top. I think it's really cute. I don't mind my messy ass bathroom, but I put on the Viore set and this is kind of better lighting out here, but I don't know, we really, we can't really make it work. Anyway, so put on the Viore set. I think this sports bra is like adorable. And I think it's really good for like a medium chest girl. Usually these thin straps wouldn't really work for me, but it really holds me in. And it has like the cutest back detailing. I think it's adorable. Love it. My one concern, these pants, you know what? It's great that Fossa is covering it so well, but these pants, <laughs> I don't know if I like this. But this fabric is very thin and I find this with like Viore pants, but then also with like aloe pants is the same thing. It's just like really thin around here and I just like don't feel very secure. I don't know. Lulu just hits me different and that's why I like it. But I think this, I, this bra is adorable. So we'll see. Let's go ahead and shower and get this hair not greased down to my head. <laughs> I am cozy and I am ready to do my skincare. It felt so good to shower. I have been needing that. Let me wash my hands first. Also, I need like one of those like microfiber towels because this thing is just way too big for my head. So, okay, first things first when I do my skincare at night is, well, I've really switched it up, really switched it up. I bought a lot of shit in the past couple of weeks. But first of all, I always start with my toner. I use Emmy Diane, but this is a toner that I use. Um, I like to spray it. Well, I've never tasted it before until now. I like to spray it on my face and just do like a little wipe. I know you're not supposed to use toner to get off any excess makeup, but you know what? You just never know. Okay, okay. See so, ya. Yeah. It's actually a tread night, which I always love my tread nights. And we're gonna make sure that this toner is dry because you always want to put Tret on a dry face. I'm parched and I don't have water in here, but I'm also wearing, oh, I don't want to show too much. I'm also wearing Austin's robe because it's cozy and I don't really want to be cozy. 
And so we're wearing his parachute robe. He never wears it, it's really warm, but I really wanna be cozy. And this lighting really brings out the bags in my eyes. Okay, she's dry. So you only need like a pea size. So I usually do like a half a pea and I put it on my, up on my forehead. And then I do the other pea size towards the bottom of my face. And then I have my lighter version of retinol that I put on my neck because I got some neck lines at the age of 28 from using technology and I don't like it, okay? And then I'm gonna talk about this in one second. Okay, so like I said, I put this on my neck for my neck lines and my hair is about to fall off again. We're gonna take it off. Ooh, she looks great. I have a burn right here. You can see one right here and one right here. And this is really embarrassing just because I feel like I should have known this, but I have been wearing a necklace around my neck forever and I have been putting retinol on my neck. And I think the necklace and the retinol had like a allergic reaction and you can see like it's not good. It's on both sides. So I took off the necklace, which is so sad because I love that necklace. And I'm not gonna obviously put any retinol there like right now. Um, but I make sure I again use this wonderful butt cream and I put it down there, just so, not down there, really on my neck. I put it on my neck so that it gets some moisture and just kind of like heals. I'm just kind of in the healing stage for it. So I wanna make sure I get that. I'm gonna brush my hair so you guys don't have to see this and then we'll put on the rest of my skincare because she looks ratty. <laughs> we got it brushed, it feels a lot better. The chat's dry on my face and we are gonna go in with my new favorite product of all time. I am obsessed with it. And again, it's found on TikTok, but it is the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. It is so moisturizing. It is nothing I've ever experienced before. Look at this. See if we can get to focus. It is literally snail mucin. Oh, shit, I don't wanna waste that. Next, I'm gonna go in with something I literally just got, so can't speak wonders to it, but it's the La Roche Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer. I have a ton of moisturizers in my drawer, like a lot, but a lot of them have an active ingredient in it that I can feel sting my face. I need something that's like very basic and hydrating because like we, we gotta be basic, you know? I'm just chilling on the floor because first of all, my camera died, so. You need to get through the rest of my skincare, but it pretty much ended there. I only added Vaseline to my lips because they're dry. But I'm sitting on the floor because the little baby Hadley is just chilling here. She's all sad. She's all sad she didn't get a walk in today. So sad. I'm going to set the mood with a little bit of my Palo Santo because we want some good smells in here. We're gonna have some cookie smells in here very, very soon, but we need better. I want some like a campfire in here, you know? Happy birthday to me. <laughs> mm, it just smells so good. It's just the best smell in the entire world. So I'm in my fall and grout fit. We're looking cute, but I found an amazing recipe. At least it looks like an amazing recipe. It's gonna be a gluten-free oatmeal chocolate chip cookie recipe and I'm very excited for it. However, you know what I'm a little bit worried about is the fact that usually when I make like a gluten-free recipe, honestly, every recipe, who am I kidding? You need to have soft butter and I just don't, okay? I don't have butter that's out all day. It's still in the fridge. I'm not prepared. Let's see if we have all the ingredients. Almond flour, butter, brown sugar, my brown sugar is literally rock hard. Hold on. Do you hear that? It's literally rock hard. Can you savor like brown sugar? I guess we'll see. Vanilla, sugar, egg, baking soda, chocolate chips. I think we're gonna be good. Okay, so apparently if you put brown sugar in a microwave safe bowl with a damp paper towel on top of it for 20 seconds is gonna savor it so we're gonna go ahead and give that a try we have an issue this brown sugar is not getting soft shoot 
It's literally a rock. Oh. Okay, hold on. We might be able to get a half a cup out of here. But I'm just making a mess. Just slowly chiseling away. Okay, so I think we officially have enough brown sugar. <laughs> it literally looks like a sandbox. I don't know, we're gonna have to like melt off. We're gonna have to melt the butter. I don't know what else we're gonna, what we're gonna do. Let's just go ahead and do that. And we're gonna mix all this shit together and then we're gonna figure it out from there. Oh no. She's melted. Full on melted. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe she'll get at room temperature if I hold her out here for long enough. Oh no. What do I do? Should I try that one? Do I just waste this one? Ah! Okay, so I got everything laid out and I redid the butter so it's a little bit less mushy. But let's go ahead and throw us all in a bowl. We'll figure this out in a second. But let's throw us all in a bowl and let's just see how it goes. I will say, the dough tastes pretty fucking fantastic. The last time the dough tasted really good, the cookies didn't turn out good. So, what I have learned, good dough does not mean good cookies at all. We're gonna roll these into a little ball and pop them in the oven. Mm, mm, mm. Fucking fantastic. I don't know about you. I look really good. All right, let's put them in. It says to put them in for like 10 to 13 minutes, but I feel like, I don't know, I want them like a little gooey on the inside, so maybe 10, maybe even eight, I'm gonna put them in for them. I think, whoa, I think it's officially time to get them out. I've gotta get my ugly, Disgusting of a mitts out. I don't know, you guys. These look pretty good. I don't know if they're done. Yeah, I feel like they are. I'm gonna let them sit on this pan for like a few minutes and just get like a little bit more toasty on the bottom. But I think they're gonna be ooby and gooey in the middle and they're gonna be so, 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 so good. Oh my goodness. I grabbed myself a mini, mini little cookie and it looks phenomenal. I think I've said that word like 20 times. But look at it. Look at that thing. It looks like a real chocolate chip cookie. All right, it's a little soft, but we're gonna give it a little taste test. Holy shit. It tastes really good. I will say, the fact that I use like regular sugar makes it just taste like really really good but then i also use almond flour and then um oat and so good i wish that i could make something super similar to that but like not regular sugar more like a maple syrup or whatever but whenever i try to do that it just never turns out well and like so why don't you just need a little bit of sugar, you know? I also will say though, I will probably get a zit someplace on this face tomorrow from all the sugar I've eaten tonight, but it's worth it to me because it makes me happy. That's all that matters. Honestly, talent him. Wow. Holy shit. Back where we started on the couch and my belly's full. I ate a lot of cookies. They were, like I actually 
think that's my favorite gluten-free cookie I've ever made. They have such great texture. They held their shape. Their flavor was so good. Like, so good. So I'm definitely gonna link that down below if you wanna give them a try. Um, I literally just looked up on Google and found them, so that's where we're at with that. <laughs> but I feel physically ill. I'm gonna have to really sit here and let my stomach digest for a while because there is no way I'm going to bed feeling like this. Like, I feel sick. But we are going to watch a little bit of, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? Love is Blind. We're gonna watch Love is Blind. I am on season three and I'm just like about to be caught up on all the episodes. It's so good. Like, it's such a good show and everyone's like, okay, it's a cheesy dating show, but I don't know why I actually really like Love is Blind. I feel like I like Love is Blind and then uh, Love Island depending on the season and the country that they're in. It's been such a fun night. Like it is almost 11 and I am never up this late, like literally ever. So this is a whole new thing that we're in it together tonight. I love my nights at home by myself. They're my favorite. I cherish them so, so, so much. And I love Austin to death, but so much like a night at home by yourself. Just feels so good. You get to watch the shows that you want on the big screen. You go to hang out by yourself. You get to talk to yourself and you get all the Hadley love. I cherish them. One of the hardest things is getting Hadley to go potty at the end of the night. And like, I just want her to go outside so she can just go and have a nice pee before she goes to bed. But she just can never get up. She's so sleepy. Can we go potty, please? Can we go outside? I know you gotta go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That is such a win. Oh my goodness. Take him. She always takes Mr. Bear out to go potty every single night. It never fails. And she will take him all the way. Oh, shoot. Usually, she like keeps Mr. Bear in her mouth when she goes potty, but I think she's a little, a little shy. <laughs> Guys, it is past midnight, I think. Yeah, it's 12.10, which is the latest I've stayed up in such a long time. I don't know what got into me tonight, but I don't know, it kind of felt good just to like have a little night to myself. Austin's still not home. I'm assuming he's going to be home late, but that's totally fine. I wish I could like give him a ride or something, but he's definitely going to take an Uber. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to probably scroll TikTok for maybe 10 minutes. I'm going to like have to put a timer on myself because like I need to go to bed or I'll probably fall asleep watching it. Who knows? But like I said, I love you and I will hopefully see you very, very soon. I don't know when that will be, but I'm sure it will be soon. So good night or good morning whenever you're watching this. Okay, bye.